people of the world. We are Ukrainians, and we have a message for you. Leader of the Ukraine is here. The head president of the office is here. Prime Minister Shmigal is here. Podolak is here. The president is here. We are here. The war in Europe is now underway. So if you are, if you, if you are, if you are a regular viewer of this show, um, firstly, thanks. Um, <laughs> you'll know that, you know, at the start of every night, we joke around a bit, you know, we, it's time for the news and Steve will play a jingle and we'll look at the news and we'll try to make jokes about the news because the, the purpose of this show is to, is to find some levity and light at the end of the day and try as best we can to make you laugh before you fall asleep, knowing full well that you probably fell asleep right after Colbert, and none of this... <laughs> none of this really matters anyway. Um, but today, if we're thinking about the news, there's really only one news story, and that news is so dark that uh, a war has begun, a sovereign country has been invaded. And all day today, and then tonight, and now as I sit here, I, I can't... All I can think about is the innocent men and women and children in Ukraine who are terrified for their lives, and I don't know how to process it. Like, I don't even know how to talk about this to my own children, let alone begin talking to you about it on television. And... It's weird, you know? It's like, just because I wear a suit and I sit behind this desk, it doesn't really mean anything. I am not nearly qualified enough to speak about these events. I'm not, and I, and I don't really want to make jokes about any other trivial news story that we found today, because I can't shake the feeling of how utterly terrifying all of this is and how scared the people of Ukraine and must be feeling we today. How scared every, everyone in Eastern Europe must be feeling Hello, yeah, today. Yeah, we've come to, um, to join the Ukrainian. They're utterly convinced of the cause. This is Leon from Surrey. They look like they need help. We're young, strong, fit men, we can help, so why not? Outside Ukraine's embassy in London, a steady stream of men come to find out how they can join up to fight. And you're prepared to go to Ukraine and fight? Yeah, I can get on a flight tomorrow. And if you don't mind asking, how old are you? I'm 60, which means I'm just about within the range, age range they'll accept. Six days ago, Russia's Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundations of the free world, thinking he could make it bend to his menacing ways, but he badly miscalculated. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall of strength he never anticipated or imagined. He met the Ukrainian people. And President Zelensky, their, to every Ukrainian, their fearlessness, their courage, their determination literally inspires the world. Groups of citizens blocking tanks with their bodies, everyone from students to retirees to teachers, turned soldiers defending their homeland. And in this struggle, President Zelensky said in his speech to the European Parliament, light will win over darkness. The Ukrainian ambassador to the United States is here tonight sitting with the First Lady. Let each of us, if you're able to stand, stand and send an unmistakable signal to the world of Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.